I want to go over how to do covalent doc structures. These steps over here that you see on the left are five steps that I think work in most situations. Here we have carbon dioxide. Let's follow the steps on the left-hand side to see if we can figure out what the dot structures look like to determine if there's any single, double, or triple bonds. The first thing I'm going to do is sum or add up all of the valence electrons from each of the elements in this compound. Let's start with carbon. Carbon on the periodic tables in the 14th column, it's four elements over from the side, so it has four valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons, but we need to remember we have two oxygens, so I'm going to need to add another six. If I add all of those valence electrons up, I have a total of 16 valence electrons to work with. These are the electrons that are going to be in my dot structure. I don't have any more than this, and I shouldn't have any less than this either. All right, so step number two, I'm going to take and I'm going to write the symbols out. These are what the electrons are going to go around. Typically, a good rule of thumb is to try to be symmetrical. Elements, when they bond, usually try to make themselves somewhat symmetrical. So here we have oxygen, then carbon in the middle, and then oxygen on the other side. All right, step three says to connect the elements with a single bond. Well, these elements are all connected, so let's at least put one bond between each of them. Remember, a single bond requires two electrons, one shared from one element and the other one shared from the other element. So here's a single bond. Now, because we had to use two electrons per bond, we're going to need to subtract that from our total. So I'm subtracting four from the 16 that we started with. Now we only have 12 electrons left that still need to go on this compound. So let's go to step four. Let's use those 12 electrons to complete any octet. Now I'm going to try to remain symmetrical with this. So I'm going to start on the left side and do two, four, six, and then go to the other side and do eight, 10, and 12. So now I've used up all of my electrons. I've got no more. These are all the electrons that are going to be involved in the bonds between carbon and two oxygens. So let's check to see if we have any completed octet. I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle or a Venn diagram around each of the elements. If you take a look at this oxygen, this oxygen has a full octet. It has two, four, six non-bonding electrons, that's the purple ones, and it has two bonding electrons, that's the one between oxygen and carbon. If we take a look at carbon, including all of the elements that it's sharing with the two oxygens, carbon has not completed its octet. It does not have a full outer shell. So we're going to need to do this. We're going to need to go to step five. But before we do that, let's check oxygen. The other oxygen on the other side, because it remains symmetrical, is the same as the first oxygen. It has completed its octet. All right, so what we're going to do is we need to go to step five because we still have elements that have not a full octet. I call this the Robin Hood step because we're going to steal two electrons from the rich and share with the poor. So let's start with this left oxygen. If I take two electrons and move it over to share with the carbons, the great thing about this is, is that oxygen didn't lose any electrons. It still has eight electrons. But those electrons are now being shared with the carbon in the middle. So carbon now is, in, in essence, double dipping with those two electrons as well. Now, carbon's still not complete. Notice by moving it, we have eight for the first oxygen on the left, but carbon only has two, four, six. We still need another set. So I'm going to do step five again, but to remain symmetrical, I'm going to do it with the other oxygen on the other side. So move those two electrons over with the carbon, and now we're golden. We have carbon dioxide. What you're looking at here is double bonds. The carbon is double bonded to each of the oxygens. So these steps can be used for many covalent dot structures. Again, step number one, add up all the valence electrons. Step number two, write each of the element symbols on the paper. Try to be somewhat symmetrical with them. Three, connect the elements at least with a single bond first. Realize that you might need to move some electrons around later, but you at least need to have one bond between the elements. Four, use up all the rest of your valence electrons to complete any octet. And then five, if you need to do this step, move sets of electrons from the elements that are electron rich to those elements that might need to share those electrons in order to get their octet. All right, good luck.